Okay. All right. So let's start. Um, homework tonight's number five, six, and seven. Okay. So let's do this. All right. Now, number five. Right off the bat, you're going to realize how long that question is. Okay. On an actual test, that probably takes up it's a multiple choice. That's probably going to take up the whole page. Okay. Or like one of two questions on the page. So, um, now, once you look at the choices, I know some of you are going to start, I don't know, panicking, right? Because you're going to see this and you're going to say, wow, like, there's so many steps. But read the question first, okay? Um, now, at the end of one hour, the amount of water in solution has decreased by 3.5%. Now, what you can do is actually this. You can actually start writing. All right, so 16 times point. Zero, what is it? One, two point zero three five. All right, wherever that is. So let's find out. Sixteen times point five six. Now, if you're doing the fast way, right? You could you could do you know you could do like ninety six point five percent instead, right? It's it's a little faster, but I'm also looking at the choices. That's why I'm doing it this way. I think you subtract, right? So I'm doing the old-fashioned way. And then, now let's see, at the end of two hours, it's, by the way, so what topic is this? Just curious if you know. I have to decrease in 4.5. Yeah, double discount, okay? That's a double discount question. And then you multiply by another 0 0.0425. All right, and then whatever that is. Point zero four two five. Point six five six two. Okay. Now don't round yet. Okay. Uh, and then now at the end they want to know what's the what's left at the end of the second hour. So fifteen forty four minus point six five six two. Now a lot of times with the state exam questions. If they're going to ask you to retrace the steps, like the four choices here, a lot of times, you know, in the past, the, the choices, the choice, the choices that they make isn't exactly obvious as to which one's the correct one. Okay, and I and I think that's not the best way to write a test. However, this one is pretty straightforward because look at the answers for all four choices, right? They're all different. So if you do the double discount the correct way. It leaves you no doubt as to which one's the correct answer, and that's choice B. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. That's it. Let's move on. Okay. All right. Number six. Carl wants to buy a television for 500, including taxes to pay for the television. He will use a payment payment plan. Requires them to make a down payment of 125 and then pay for each month for six months. What to present the increase from the original cost to turn into the cost of using the payment? Ah, okay, all right, all right, all right. So, how do I how do I do this? Right, I got to use the word original, even though I'm not. I'm hesitant to. So originally, all right, It's 500 bucks, right? Outright. So you go to the store, you pay 500, right? Okay. Don't worry about including taxes. They just, that, that just means they don't want you to calculate the tax. That's all. Now, payment plan. So let me use the word PP, all right? For payment plan. And then, what does that mean? Now, down payment of 125. 
So that means you're going to have to pay 125 no matter what. Now let me change this a little bit. Because this has implications for unit 5. So I'm going to write it this way. So 125... And then you pay seventy two fifty each month for six months. Okay, all right. So seventy two fifty each month for six months. Okay, so that's the total cost. If I have to lay it out in one expression, seventy two fifty for a month for six months, right? So times six plus the one twenty five. Now let's see, six times seventy two point five. 435, oh, I see. All right, 435. Add that to 125. Ah, 560. Okay, so you see what, what this is? Actually, this is interesting. It's basically saying if you want a payment plan, right, you, you have to pay more, okay? So they're charging you interest, okay? That's, that's, that's kind of like the... The idea so okay now that's not even the question so what's the percent change right so new minus old over old so let's see okay so this is original new yeah okay new minus old right because we're going from this to this so that's the old and that's the new over old so 60 over 500, what's that? 60 over 500. Okay, this is taking a little too long. Yeah, those no, it's three questions. Okay, all right, 60 over 500. 0.12, okay, so 12%, all right, okay. What choice is that? That's B, okay, 12%, all right. One last one, seven. Okay, seven, 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 seven. Okay, the table shows the price of different numbers on the card. What? Okay, if you buy 20 cards, it's 13 bucks. 40 cards, it's 26. Okay, 60 is 39. Okay, that looks proportional. 165, is that right? Okay. Now, for each order, the, the website applies a 7.7% sales tax to the sale price plus a mailing fee of 595 based on the information the table what would be the cost of a car order of 280 so what you what they're really trying to say is hey don't buy let me see if there's even a discount actually if you buy 100 cards okay i'm just just full of curiosity today oh it's the same it's the same thing oh what's the point okay all right not a great question okay so now Actually, it doesn't matter if that's the case. Okay, guys, so this is what I'm thinking. I was thinking that the more cards you buy, the cheaper it will be, but it turns out that's absolutely not the case. Okay, so I don't know what the point is because because of this. Because if you do this, you could, you could do 280 and buy just like packs of 20, a bunch of packs of 20. It wouldn't change your answer. And you could buy two packs of 100 and then, you know, so on and so forth and wouldn't change the answer so i don't i don't know what's the point of this actually okay but let's do it now okay let's do it kind of do it the 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 right way there's no right way of doing it. there's every way is the right way of doing this basically 280 so let's let's say we buy two packs of 100 two packs of 100 cards all right and so that's to get takes care of 200 cards and then what we're going to do we'll buy a pack of 60 And that means the level 20 is out back up and now buy a pack of 20. All right. Even though the cost. Yeah. All right. I just think it's ridiculous. Could have written a better question. Okay. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Two packs of 100. So that's 100 and. What is it? 130. Yep. All right. Because that's two packs of 100. Now each pack is 65. Okay. So that's why. 2 times 65, the cost is 130. Okay. 
one times a pack of 60. A pack of 60 costs 39. So that's 39 bucks right here. And a pack of 20 is $13. Okay, you probably, probably can't see my handwriting. And I'm at the cost. What will that be? Hmm. 182 is so $182. $182 now. Sales tax plus the so times now. This is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna do 1.0 thing is stuck. 077. All right, it's part the handwriting. The mouse is stuck. 1.07. So 182 times 1.077. 196.01 okay 196.01 now i'm gonna add the shipping which is 595 201 96 all right the answer is 201 All right, that's it. That's the grand total. Okay, all right, I'm going to sign off. All right, thanks for hanging in there and listening to me talk. And uh, have a good one. OMG, that was so good.